It's March 7th. Let's go do a prescribed burn on a 19-year-old pine plantation. Join in as we get started. What's the mixture? One and a half gallons of gas and three and a half gallons of diesel. All right, what we're gonna do today, and it's a pine stand that has been thinned uh, about three and a half years ago. We're gonna come through here and we're gonna do a burn to reduce the fuel and also open up the ground so that more vegetation can come back for the wildlife. Um, and by doing this, we started a test fire and we're gonna strip it. We have a tank behind us to, to put out any fires that come out across it. But by stripping the fire like this, it's gonna produce more heat and it's gonna burn off clear. So that's what the objective is today. We're going to light a back fire and then we're going to strip it through the woods so that the fire does not get too intense. That's George Crawford, a certified forester who's managing the burn for me today. This plantation is ideal for a burn in that it has a high line on one side and open fields on the other three sides, thus there's little chance of the fire escaping. Conditions are ideal with a light steady breeze and while the fuel is dry enough to burn effectively, there's also enough ground moisture to keep the fire from getting too terribly hot. Nonetheless, as you can see here, we have the Polaris with a water tank on it. Should any of the fire start to creep out, we can control it. So now, the initial backfire is being lit down the perimeter of the plantation along the high line. Next, George will go through the woods parallel to the original line, stripping fire with the breeze blowing the strip fires back towards the original backfire. This controls the fire, keeping it manageable. Here you can see how intense the fire actually got, and it was very effective at burning all the ground material as well as the briars, tallow trees, beautyberry, and other shrubs growing in the plantation. Yet the fire doesn't harm the pine trees at all. Here you can see two of the fire lines converging. This technique is effective at controlling both the scale of the burn, and interestingly, also generates additional heat, making the fire hotter as the two lines converge accomplishing exactly what is needed. Which is what you see right here, a great spring burn that will create a lush green ground cover of forbs, grasses, and shrubs, terrific for both the wildlife as well as the pine plantation itself. And here we are a week later with prescribed burn a complete success. We had well over 95% of the 80 acres burned with absolutely no damage to any of the pine. While the understory looks clear and barren now, we've already received a couple of rains since the fire and I can't wait to see what happens after green up. I'll come back here later in the summer with the camera and we can do a follow-up to see firsthand the benefits of our spring burn. Thanks so much for joining in.